really excited to see how the crowd uh, is here you know but I heard they're really 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 awesome and very responsive you know so I'm looking forward to it. I heard you'll be performing in Ultra Korea and so I don't know if you'll like Yes uh, actually uh, Ultra Korea on September 24-25 uh, that's next weekend and then Ultra Bali is on September 29 and 30. So just a few days apart. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that again. Yeah. What's the big for those I mean, it's a it's a dream come true, of course. You know, I mean, um, ever since I started DJing, uh, uh, that's that's what I've been wanting to do: was just uh, travel and uh, perform my uh, my music that I that I play. You know. And uh, I feel like I'm actually really, really lucky and blessed uh, to have this opportunity to, uh, you know, represent uh, the Philippines in our country and in these places. You know? So again, it's very thankful. Really, like, so thankful. It's a great country for you. It is. It really is. Uh, I, I still can't believe it. You know, honestly. Um, but yeah. Do you have any aside from our Do you have any dream? I mean, of course, uh, Tomorrowland, that's, that's definitely uh, up there, and uh, EDC, um, but Ultra, you know, it's like one of my dreams also, and, and um, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've done that, so um, I'm just happy already uh, with, with where I am, you know, but of course, if, I, if I'm able to play Tomorrowland or other big festivals like that, I mean, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, well, of course, here in the Philippines, I feel like, uh, of course, I know uh, what the people like more uh, because, of course, I'm, I'm from here. And I've played here many times, and uh, with other countries, um, I actually have to um, uh, try to think ahead of time. Like what? What I would think they would like, but still uh, play uh, my sound. You know what I mean? At the same time, um, so it's a little bit of a, a balancing act. You know, um, trying to figure out like in each country what what possibly they would like. But um, again, no matter what, at the end of the day, I play um, uh, me. I play my sound and what I like to hear. You know. Performing on the same stage, but we were on the same lineup. You know what I mean? Uh, I never got to meet him, unfortunately. I was just uh, there behind him uh, backstage during his performance, which is when I actually really um, 
kind of realized that he's like my favorite was when I saw him live because his set was just unbelievable, you know, like, um, the energy and the way he interacts with the crowd. Uh, he's really, 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 uh, really good. <laughs> Legend, legend. I was working in that. I mean, of course, um, again, I feel like I'm blessed to be able to work with uh, good people like Louie and TTT events, you know, so uh, I'm actually just really looking forward to what the future will bring uh, with our, uh, our partnership and our ventures uh, together, you know, but I mean, they're, they're great people. That's, that's the most important thing is um, a good heart and uh, you're a good person, you know, so that is definitely uh, checked off with TTV and events and Louie, you know. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so during the pandemic, you know, um, uh, of course, everybody had their ups and downs, you know, uh, but um, with some of the bad that happened during that time, I guess there's also some good that came about it, you know, um, aside from the environment, getting a rest, you know, uh, a, lot, a lot of other um, good things happened, even though it was dark times, you know. Um, so one of the things that happened uh, for me during the pandemic was I, I really got to um, explore my my music in terms of production and finding my sound. Um, so I was really able to work on that, and uh, I guess now after these uh, these two years that I've been working on on production and music, um, I, I have some tracks that I'm going to be releasing soon. You know, is it, is it an album or? Um, I'm still uh, not sure. Like, de I definitely have an EP already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm still deciding if I'm going to release it as an EP or uh, possibly extend it and uh, make a full album. But I'm going to release a single first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, um, there is actually no release date yet, but possibly uh, sometime next month because um, I plan on uh, trying it out during my ultra set and then I, I believe um, a few weeks after that I'll be releasing it. Uh, it just depends on the reaction and if I want to tweak a few more things or add a few more uh, layers or sounds to it, you know, so. Uh, but very soon, I think possibly October, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, uh, we have so many talented DJs here, you know, um, so that's definitely in the future. Um, right now, again, I'm still uh, finding my sound and working on more material and more music. And then um, we'll see who I'll be collaborating with in terms of artists, uh, singers, uh, DJs as well, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually really excited about that part. I'm really excited about that part. Well, I think those are actually uh, the main things that I'm... Uh, I'm looking forward to and I hope uh, people will be excited about as well coming from me uh, this year. Um, it's a big step, you know, for me uh, releasing my original music, so um, that's very, uh, very big in my life, so I hope people will uh, respond well to it. Yeah. Um, I guess I hope everybody's doing okay uh, with you and your family at home. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy past two years, but I think uh, we're starting to come out uh, strong out of this and um, I hope to see you guys on tour sometime uh, and watch out for my songs coming up. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on my social media, on my Instagram, and my Facebook. Uh, God bless guys. Thank you.